What's up guys, it's Tegna over here and today I'm going to be talking about how to get Siri on your iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad without a proxy. Obviously you're going to need an iPhone 4S because of that reason. So if you have a co-worker, a friend, a sibling, anybody that has an iPhone 4S jailbroken, you can pretty much do this tweak. Uh, you don't have to pay anything, no servers, no apps, everything is free. Uh, one more thing is that you don't want to pretty much use this on every single device you have because I believe the limit or recommended limit is 5 so that way Apple doesn't take notice of the heavy usage and might cut the connection also um, this is also a bit more complicated on the iPad which I'll cover here unlike the iPhone iPod touch where you can simply just install Siri not Siri I mean uh, Spire so uh, let's get started All right. So obviously you're going to need your iPhone 4S job broken. We're going to start with the iPhone 4S. So let's just go on Cydia. Wait for it to load. And what we're going to download is called Assistant Connect 4S. All in one word. So let's just wait for it to download its package. Then just go to the search bar and just type in Assistant Connect 4S. Alright, once you have that, you want to go ahead and install it. It's going to give you a small description of what to do. Like, once you open it and install it, you're going to go ahead and open the app and reboot your device and then reopen it. And that's when you activate Siri, which I'll talk about in just a few uh, seconds here. So, pretty much tells you a somewhat detailed uh, tutorial and a short video at the bottom so just in case you get what you're doing so like I said everything's free you don't need to pay anything so I'm just gonna cut it here cuz uh, I can't uh, stop the recording when I'm installing so so once you have it installed you're gonna go ahead on the app and reboot your device and so after you're done rebooting your device you wanna go back into assistant connect 4s and you wanna activate Siri alright just simply activate Siri on the app then you're just gonna press the home button and then tap on email Siri data now obviously I'm gonna cut this a little bit because it does show my email address so I'm trying to avoid that but uh, what you're gonna do is just send it to an email address that you can uh, use on any iDevice so I'm gonna use my Hotmail email address and I'm gonna open it up on my iPad too which I'll show you just in a bit and that's pretty much it, that's all you have to do on the iPhone 4S side. Alright, so on the iPad, we're gonna get a problem here when we're trying to install Spire. Unlike the iPhone iPod Touch, uh, when you go ahead and go onto the Spire page and tap on install, it's gonna tell you that one of the conflicts is the iPad, just like right now. So in order to fix this, we have to go to iFile, so make sure that's already downloaded as well. And also have SPS settings too just in case. So now we're on file, you want to go to the location of <coughs> system, library, core services, springboard app, and then go all the way down until you'll see a K9 something that are, it's a peed list. And then just tap on property list viewer, go to compatibilities, go all the way down until you see iPad. And as you can see it's already turned off. What you want to do is turn it off. Tap done go to the home screen and then reboot your device so once you have it rebooted you want to go to Cydia go back into Spire and just simply install it alright this could take a while so just set your iPad to, to the side after it's done downloading and rebooting you want to go to your SBS settings tap on more go all the way down as you see mobile substrate add-ons Go all the way down as you see Spire Hook and Spider Injection. Just turn those injector. Just turn those two things off. And just make sure Siri is enabled. Once you have that, you're gonna go open up the email that you got from your iPhone 4S and tap on the attachment. Tap on open in Assistant Connect. You're gonna get a pop-up saying file copied, tap on dismiss, and once again you have to reboot your device. But before you do that, go back to iFile and go back to the same file. What you want to do now is turn the option on of what you turned off before. So go back to the iPad and then turn it back on. Just like so. Now you can reboot your device. After that's done, you can pretty much use Siri. 
Of course, this is not perfect, unlike the iPhone and iPod Touch, because Siri does not have the applications that the iPhone and iPod Touch has, like clock, compass, weather, stocks, all that stuff. So if you try to launch it or try to use one of the features of it, it will crash the iPad itself. So try to use um, whatever apps it has because of its limitations, but it does work well, only the background is kind of messed up. But that's about it, guys. That's how you get Siri on your iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. If you have any more questions, please post a comment. If you like this video, please like it. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe.